Whether you're using a stylus or your finger, resistive screens respond to pressure, making them versatile and user-friendly. On the other hand, capacitive touchscreens operate on an entirely different principle. They utilize the natural electrical conductivity of the human body. Imagine a layer of capacitive material that carries an electrical charge. When you touch the screen with your finger, a small amount of this charge is transferred to you, causing a change in capacitance. The system detects this change and translates it into a specific action on the screen. While resistive screens are more resistant to wear and tear, capacitive screens offer a smoother, more responsive experience. Their ability to detect multiple points of contact simultaneously makes them ideal for multi-touch gestures, like pinching to zoom. So next time when you're swiping through your phone, remember it's either resistive or capacitive technology making it possible. Resistive touchscreens might sound complicated, but they're rather simple. At the heart of these screens, you'll find two electrically resistive layers. The first layer is typically a flexible top layer, while the second is a rigid bottom layer. Separating these two layers are tiny dots, creating a small gap. When you press down on the screen with your finger or a stylus, you're actually pushing the flexible top layer to make contact with the rigid bottom layer. This contact disrupts the electrical field and alters the current flow. Now, here's where it gets interesting. The touchscreen's controller, a small computer inside your device, detects this change in electrical current. It then processes this information to calculate the exact location of your touch. The controller then sends this data to the device's operating system, which responds accordingly. So you see, resistive touchscreens are all about pressure. So, it's the pressure of your touch that makes resistive screens respond. A capacitive touchscreens, on the other hand, work a little differently. Now, let's dive into the world of capacitive touchscreens. Unlike resistive screens, these do not rely on pressure. Instead, they take advantage of a fantastic property we all possess. Electrical conductivity. Yes, that's right, our bodies are natural conductors of electricity. Here's the science bit. Capacitive screens are coated with a material that stores electrical charge. When your finger, a natural electrical conductor, makes contact with the screen, it creates a connection with this electrically charged layer. This connection causes a change in the electrostatic field on the screen surface. But how does the screen know where you've touched? This is where it gets really clever. The screen is divided into a grid, and each intersection of this grid is monitored for changes in the electrostatic field. When your finger touches a point on the screen, it distorts the electrostatic field at that specific intersection. This distortion is detected by the screen's processor and translated into a precise location. So, whether you're swiping through photos, drawing a masterpiece, or tapping out a message, it's your body's conductivity combined with the screen's ability to detect changes in its electrostatic field that make it all possible. So, it's the distortion of an electrostatic field that makes capacitive screens respond. Touchscreens have revolutionized the way we interact with technology. They've bridged the gap between user and device, turning complex commands into simple gestures. The magic of touch lies in two main types, resistive and capacitive. While resistive screens respond to pressure, Capacitive screens detect anything that holds an electrical charge. This seemingly simple technology has had a profound impact on our lives, transforming our interaction with the digital world. So, the next time you tap, swipe or pinch a touchscreen, you'll know the science behind your action.